Hello, phenomenal you. Stephen Ward here, the Imperfect Speaker, and I want to say it's absolutely amazing to be conversating with you at this time. Now, I've never claimed to be a psychic, but I know one thing's for certain and two things for sure, and that's that you're going to be absolutely amazing at what it is you choose to do. And that if you've ever procrastinated or dragged your feet or just, you know, stumbled upon chasing your dreams, you became a little bit confused. You felt that you needed one more book to read. You needed to watch one more YouTube video or take one more course. I want you to know that you're absolutely ready right now to begin, right now. I want you to keep going because you got this. And here's something else I want you to do. I want you to listen to you. Now, as we unpack Ming, I want you to keep in mind that Ming, as he started to grow, he developed his voice. What I mean by that, he started to get a natural, mature, thunderous roar. And being raised inside the projects, being raised inside an apartment, I can only imagine that individuals that was walking by started to feel real intimidated and very uncomfortable as they heard that thunderous roar. But let's also keep in mind that Ming wasn't in his natural habitat. And what I want you to realize is that as you start to grow, as you start to succeed, as you start to mature, so will your voice. You will start to develop that thunderous roar. And as you become more successful, individuals around you are going to start to become very intimidated. And they're going to start to become very, very uncomfortable. And that's okay. Because you have to take a look at your environment. Maybe you've just outgrown the environment. See, think about it, Ming. He didn't get a chance to jump up a tree. He didn't get a chance to play around and tackle with other tigers. He didn't get a chance to walk through the rainforest as he wanted to and release that voice and release that thunderous roar. And so when he felt the need to do so, it wasn't the right environment. But Ming was just being himself. Ming was just doing what he does. Ming was just doing what he was designed to do. And I want you to keep that in mind. That when you're growing, when you're succeeding, when you want change for yourself, other individuals might start to feel very uncomfortable. They may start to feel very intimidating, but you're doing what you're designed to do. You're being who it is that you want to become. You're living out the dreams that you want to live out. You're trying to become your desired self. But you have to pay attention to the environment in which you're in. Put yourself in an environment with like-minded individuals who have the same thunderous roar. Put yourself in an environment with like-minded individuals who are gonna motivate you, who are gonna not be intimidated by you, but inspire you. Put yourself inside that environment where you can jump and you can leap and you can be yourself. It wasn't until Ming took advantage of that opportunity that he released his potential and he put the world on notice. When you start to grow, you're putting others on notice, and you may not even know it. Don't change who you are. You may have to change your environment. Till next time. It reminds me of a story of a tiger called Ming. A Siberian tiger that was raised in an apartment in Harlem, living a false life. For three years, this tiger remained silent. For three years, this tiger remained faithful and obedient. For three years, this tiger remained inside that room suppressed, not able to show his true potential, not living the life in which he deserved, not living a life in which he was created and what was designed for him.